Hi friends, welcome back to the part 6 of the tutorial series here and this time we will be creating our new project, new Angular project. So before that, I assume you already have downloaded the Angular CLI and the Electro theme. If you haven't done that so far, please go ahead and do that before you uh, proceed further. Okay. So I have my Angular CLI installed and I can check the version using ng space version command. So it's Angular CLI version number nine. This is the latest one. And I navigated to my uh, to the root of my project here. And you can see the backend folder there. <clears throat> so the command to generate a new project, new Angular project using CLI is ng new followed by the uh, project name. Okay. You can simply hit enter, but I'll use a uh, an additional option or switch here which you can find in the official docs okay so I'll say use this skip test equal to true so that I don't get any <coughs> spec file for unit testing because I will not be do doing any unit testing in this entire uh, project okay as soon as you hit enter it will ask you whether you want to add angular routing and we do yes style sheet will be a CSS okay and hit enter so this will download the required packages and install them for you uh, and once that that is done I'll open it in my code editor so I'll be back once uh, this completes so please uh, wait for a while all right friends so after waiting for a few minutes uh, the project creation has successfully completed as you can see here and it, it al also initialized git if you don't want to uh, initialize git you can use this switch here skip git equals to true okay so now let me open the project in my code editor that's php storm and i also have my backend running here in a uh, separate uh, terminal okay so this is the project structure of angular and for those who don't know what angular is angular is uh, is an open source project uh, open source framework basically uh, javascript framework developed by google developed and maintained by google so this is used for creating single page applications okay you have uh, other frameworks as well like react and Vue, and those are maintained and developed by different uh, vendors so react is uh, maintained by facebook okay but i prefer to use angular here so, and we are working with angular in this in this entire project so let's check what we have in this uh, project uh, folder here so we have multiple files and folders out of this uh, the one we will be using uh, will be angular.json this is the configuration file it has everything uh, related to your project okay then we have the source folder and the app component this is your root component so every every angular project has got one default or root component known as the app component you can rename it but it's always advised to keep it the same thing same way or otherwise you need to modify it in many different locations okay and this is the file which is uh, referred here in the index.html so this is the uh, index file which which is rendered by your browser and this is the selector of your root component which gives you the output okay so if i go to my terminal and type ng serve this will spin up a development server running on port 4200 which you can open in your browser so give it a couple of minutes to compile the project okay and this selector name it comes from the app.ts file so every component here uh, will have a selector so the entire angular application is divided into multiple components and modules okay we will create our own components soon okay but uh, you can also create your own modules but that is beyond the scope of this project 
we got a couple of modules here one is the routing module and one is your app module which con contains all your components and other modules okay so app routing module will be used to create our own routes that we will be doing soon and so whichever component you create that should be a part of a module it can be the app module or it can be a custom module also but in our case it will always be the app module and any new uh, I mean every every new custom module that you create should also be included as a part of the app module okay so the app module should know about all the other modules that you're going to use so for example I will be using a module known as browser animations module that I that I know for sure so I added here here in the import statement and this add the rate ng module this is known as a decorator so the component will have add the rate component decorator here but this tells the angular what kind of file it is and what should it do okay so ng module will have declarations array imports array providers array all these have their own purposes okay so save the changes whenever you save make change and save it uh, your entire project gets compiled with the help of webpack okay and this is giving me an error because I believe I need to recompile it okay so I need to recompile it from scratch because I added the animations module here <clears throat> so it gives you this error sometimes and whenever you add a module here you need to uh, also add the required import statement okay so once that is done uh, once it is compiled we can go ahead and open this in our browser so localhost 4200 that's the default port and this is the default page that comes with your angular uh, project the new angular project okay and this entire thing that you see here is being uh, coded here in the app.html file okay so every uh, HTML is linked to its corresponding TypeScript file in the backend so whatever you do whatever you uh, put here you can refer to that in the HTML so this is your view and this is your uh, controller you can say okay so if I say my name is John Doe, okay, that's a string, and this is TS Lint, okay. It it wanted me to use single quotes, okay. You can change these rules if you want, but let's stick to it. Uh, if I go down and see where it says Learn Angular uh, in the browser, or uh, let's say let's find resources, okay let's go resources here so I'll put uh, uh, h3 and you can refer to this variable that I defined here the name variable using double curly braces this is known as string interpolation okay you can refer to any of the variables that are present there like name okay or I can also refer to title that's another other variable that I have so if I use name here okay and refresh and save the changes you'll see John Doe so it's not only uh, variables you can also do calculations dynamic calculations like 2 into 6 okay you can put here name equals to like this so it'll give me 12 okay so this is dynamically generated all right so this is uh, what we have in the app.html we don't need any of this so i'm gonna remove everything so in our project we will have multiple components so we will have a header component for the header element we will have a footer component and the body elements okay so let me quickly shorten the cli length and to generate a component or a, a schematic what you can do you can go to the either go to the terminal or in PHP Storm you can go to new and choose angular schematics so this with this 
you can generate any schematics that you want like directives components classes services pipes etc but i'll use the cli here so you can type make sure you're inside the project directory okay you're, you're inside your uh, your front end project directory okay then type ng g for generate then the name of the schematic i will use component and then you need to specify a path for the path i'm going to put a folder name like components although it's not there if you don't put a folder it will go inside the app folder by default okay and if you put a folder name if the and if the folder does not exist here the CLI will generate the folder for you okay so I'll put header the name of the component that I want header hit enter wait for some time and then we'll see okay so it created few files here for me and a folder so I have got a header.html header.scss and header.ts okay and the last thing it did it it updated the app module also so that my my pro my uh, project knows about the header component okay perfect so now <clears throat> let's create few more modules as we will require the next one will be the footer then we need the cart component to display the cart items then we need checkout then we of course need the home component for the home page and then <clears throat> need a single product component to display the details of the product of, an, of the individual products and last but not the least I guess the thank you component if you need any other components we can add them later also so click here you see all the projects all the components here and at the same time your app module is also updated with the information cool so let's close this and let's close this one okay next thing you should do is go to the assets folder and open your uh, what do you call the theme that you downloaded okay the electro theme and copy all the folders except screenshot and paste them inside the assets folder which is inside the source folder okay perfect so this so this contains all the javascripts and <clears throat> style sheets right so in your angular.json file if you scroll down and go to the scripts section here you need to import all the JavaScripts. So I have that already uh, copied in a notepad. So I'll simply copy the name and paste it here with commas. Okay. Make sure you're refer referencing it from the source directory. So this the path should start from the SRC folder like this. So whenever you make any change in the Angular.json file, you have to stop the server. And rebuild it although it will, it will show as compiled successfully with webpack running but it's always advisable because you might might see some strange behaviors okay so let's compile it again and now we'll see how we can use our uh, new components and see their content from from a different component okay so as we know every component will have its own uh, selector like header will have its own header selector app hyphen header and this app it comes uh, it's, it's a default selector or prefix that comes with your angular installation or angular project creation which is defined in the angular.json file if you go up a little bit you'll see a prefix you can change this prefix stop the server and recompile it and then you can change the prefix here as well okay but for our purposes I'll keep it as app okay doesn't matter so the way you can refer 
to other component is like using a normal HTML tags like we can use any tags we want like h1 or h2 right similarly we can use the uh, selectors of the other components like app hyphen header for the header we know the header component and the footer component will be same for each and every page okay so in the middle I'll use a special selector uh, that's uh, the angular router outlet Oops. okay so this uh, will enable us to navigate between different routes so if I save this and go back to the browser you'll only see the header and footer because we haven't defined any default route okay so to do that we need to jump to the app routing module as you can see the routes are empty it takes an array of objects like this and this object the first attribute will be the path so the default path is empty there's a default route and this should point to my home component okay as soon as I save it and go back see my home works okay this is my default route now it's time to create other routes let's create a route for the product and this time I need to supply a product ID to fetch the details of that individual product okay so there are many more attributes apart from path and component but we will be only dealing with these two you can add children or lazy loading all those stuff okay so if you have any comments or suggestions or or any questions for that matter you can put it in the comment section of this video I'll try to answer it to the best of my knowledge next we have card checkout and I also need a thank you page uh, thank you component that should be it and go to the browser check if this works cart okay cart works checkout works so you see header and footer stays the same only the middle content updates okay and if you go to the default route it will take you the home component okay so this concludes your uh, project creation with angular CLI and in the next video we will be working on the home component spe specifically the home HTML part and we will try to uh, create our uh, home page okay with the help of this index.html we'll also check on the header and footer okay so till then uh, I hope you're enjoying this video if you have any suggestions or feedback like I said please feel free to put that in the comment section below okay I'll upload this uh, this this uh, portion in, in my github repo and uh, please do like share subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video till then thank you and have a wonderful day